Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes. would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So these fighters are just a year apart with some differences in height and a similar reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 16 wins, five losses. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Donegal, Ireland, Irish Joe Duffy. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce. The Dragon Lee! You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. Ready. All right, crowd getting excited as this fight gets underway. And you can't to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five to the And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Try to establish that jab. Punch over the top. Just misses with a left hook there. Oh, huge hook. Straight right hand now, just misses. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. 
stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, just out of range with that right hand. Duffy gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Just misses there with the left. Kick to the body by Lee. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it on. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Whoa! Oh, big left hook there. Over and over, he landed this big body kick. Duffy gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. <laughs> Under two minutes now to go in round one. Just missed with the left there. The right hook to the body. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Big ball for punch land. Now he gets back to range. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, straight right. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. Oh, beautifully placed in time kick there by Lee. Right on the button. Lee gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Five minutes in the books. from the last round. Lots for the replay guys to choose from. Yeah, man, these guys stood on a quarter in the middle of the octagon. Take one to give one. Over and over, each guy landed, and they both landed very well over the course of that first round. Ready to fight? Ready. All right, second round underway. Well done to block that powerful kick to the body. Look at him. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. She went high on that one. Relax, relax. Keep your hands up. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the... Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh! Back and forth we go here! Staying upright on that. Oh, effective strike there by Lee. 
Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Right, he engages in the single collar tie. And they set. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Back to the feet. Oh, he might be out. Beautifully timed and placed kick there by Lee. Got the single collar tie. And now he's got the tie clinch. Good body shot. Final seconds here of round two. That's a big strike right there. So there's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance, he took it, he landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. You ready to fight? You ready? Third round underway. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Gets caught with that punch. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Oh. How about that chin? <laughs> Just unable to quite find that range. Stuffs the takedown without issue. Left hand punch in the clinch. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, he might be out. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Oh, hey. He's hurt bad. Oh, huge block. Continuing to work the body to great effect. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there. Wow. Oh, beautiful head movement. Slips there. Oh, oh just misses with the kick. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and in survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. All right, take a seat. You ready to fight? 
Ready. Fourth round, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, whoa! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Nice punch lands over the top. Look at a boy that's trying to shut the liver down. Oh, collar tie. Oh, and he caught the kick. Oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Right hand punch with the clinch. Timely defense there, huge block for him. All right, so let us see who has enough left to finish this fight. I'm looking at two fighters who are on the verge of gassing. I mean, they have done everything in their power to finish this fight, but their opponents are so tough that they find themselves very late and both asking the question, how do oh! I get this done? He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Continues to work the body here. Lands with the kick there. No pat on that foot. No shit guard. He's taking all of that kick every time he throws. He's looking to land the right just out of range. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. Well, he's able to get back up here, but oh, man, is he on wobbly legs. Under a minute now to go. Offensive fight, nice job to block the shot there. was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is called to stop this contest at four minutes, 24 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Irish Joe So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. Thank you for watching. Please wait for more videos. See you soon.